So for this lesson, we are going to decline the word rex regis, which is a masculine word. So the first thing we should do is just recognize the words we already have. So we have rex, which is the nominative, and we have regis, which is the genitive. For now, we're just gonna focus on regis because that's what we're gonna use to get our genitive stem. The genitive stem is basically what we're gonna use to plug all our endings onto when we decline this word. So, to get the genitive stem, we're gonna take regis, which is the genitive, and we're going to remove the is. So we just get reg, and that would be our genitive stem. Now that we have our genitive stem, we can decline the word rex regis. A chart is a really useful way to decline words because we can organize it in a way that's um, in order and really just visually nice to see and organized. So in our chart, we have a side for the singular and the plural, and then we have a category for nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, ablative. And these determine what meaning the word has, how the meaning has changed will be determined by these categories, which you will find more about later in the book. Okay, so now that we have our genitive stem, we are going to plug that genitive stem into each of the categories without the ending first. The only exception is going to be the nominative singular. Why? Because we are already given the nom nominative singular and it's rex. So there's no need for us to plug that genitive stem in there because we are already given the word above. So we're gonna plug reg into every other category. Now that we have our genitive stem plugged into our categories, we can put the endings on each of these stems. How we know what endings to use are determined by the gender of the word. In this case, this is a masculine word, so we're gonna use the masculine slash feminine chart to decline it. There are different charts for masculine slash feminine and neuter, so it's important to look at the gender before you plug the endings on to make sure you have the correct endings on your words. So now we are going to put the correct endings on each of these words. So for the genitive singular, it's I-S. For the dative singular, it's I. For the accusative singular, it's E-M. For ablative singular, it's E. For nominative plural, it's E-S. For, for genitive plural, it's U-M. For dative plural, it's I-B-U-S. For accusative plural, it's E-S. And for ablative plural, it's I-B-U-S. Again, these endings are going to change the meaning of the word and how they appear in a sentence. It's important to also note that the endings for nominative and accusative plural are the same and the dative and ablative plural are the same. So keep this in mind when you're translating so you know that these words could have two different meanings in the sentence.